In this lab, you will find out how pressure, volume, and temperature are related. Here are the materials you'll need to do this lab. Water, a pipette, scissors, an ice cube tray, a metric ruler, 22 gauge copper wire, either a 1 or 2 liter plastic bottle with a cap, electrical tape, a large plastic container, a graduated cylinder, 250 milliliter, and your lab guide. First, cut off the long end of the pipette, leaving about 2 or 3 centimeters at the end. Next, cut off about 30 centimeters of the 22 gauge copper wire and begin wrapping it around the pipette. Start where the tube meets the bulb, wrap it around a few times, and then wrap around the bulb itself. Leave some wire for a hook on the end and that will help you retrieve the pipette from the bottle later on. Take a thin strip of electrical tape to fasten the wire to the pipette and you're ready for the next step. And now it's time to test the float. Put the pipette with the wire into a graduated cylinder full of water and see if you can achieve neutral density. That means it will go just below the surface and stay there. And this one is floating a little bit. You can bubble out the air to introduce water into the pipette and see if that makes it sink any lower, but not quite. So we're going to have to add some more wire. I'm going to do that right now. All right, now I've added another 30 centimeters of wire to this pipette and allowed almost a full pipette of water to go into the bulb of the pipette and now we'll see what happens. Very close. I'm going to put a little more, squeeze it a little more, let some more water into it here. We're very close to neutral buoyancy now. It wants to sink so I'm going to Hook it with some of my extra wire, squeeze just a little bit of water out, and we should be about there. And here's what it looks like when you achieve neutral buoyancy for your float. Take a one or two liter bottle and nearly fill it with water. Now put your float in the water. Put on the cap and seal it tightly. Now squeeze the bottle, watch and see what happens, and write down the results. The float should sink when you squeeze the bottle and then rise back to the top when you let go. Play around with the amount of water you have in there and the buoyancy of your float until you actually see that happen. Now when you finish this part of the experiment, Remove the float from the bottle and pour all of the water out of the bottle. And now on to part B of the experiment. Pour water into a large container up to about 10 centimeters in depth. Add plenty of ice to the water to make it colder. Run hot water into the sink until it's very hot. Now take a drinking water bottle and fill it completely. Let the water sit in the bottle for a couple minutes to get the bottle nice and warm. Now empty the bottle and place the cap on the bottle. The bottle should be full of hot air. Now place it in the ice water and observe what happens. Record your results.